What do you think the Browns should do? You know, my, you, I've been saying it for weeks. <laughs> they should bench the Sean Watson. You've got to take the L on his contract. But who who is their backup? Jameis Winston. This is oh, why. Oh, yeah, Jameis. But yeah. <laughs> this is why. But I don't know if you bench him for Jameis, you know. Jameis has also done madness. <laughs> he <laughs> has. Remember that time when he came in for the Saints and they had a couple years ago? Yeah, yeah. Had, I think it was like five and two. Yeah. Well, I might be wrong, but they had a, de- a very good winning record. I remember this. It's like, and then he got injured and I think he was out for the season. Yeah. It's like, bro, like, you've got a viable court, backup quarterback who could arguably be a starting quarterback for one of the worst teams. Mm. And you are now in that position where you're one of the worst teams. teams yeah. You're one in five. How bad is it going to get? Because just for argument's sake, if they had a decent quarterback, who did they just lose to? The Eagles. They would have beat the Eagles. They're in every game. Because it was 2016. They're in every game. But let me tell you though, their offensive line does not protect Deshaun Watson whatsoever. I hear that, but... Deshaun Watson also doesn't get rid of the ball. No, no, he, he holds on to it like he's Way doing Houston. He's, he's waiting for something. And I'm thinking, bro, nothing's happening. Throw it if or you, run. If your O-line ain't good, you scrambling's not going to help them. No. <laughs> if you, you may as well if roll you're not out. If you a good scrambler. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're rolling out, throw it away or roll out and just start running straight. Yeah. But don't, don't sit behind your offensive line because they ain't helped you this time. They ain't helped you a million times before. They ain't going to help you today. So. Do you think it's, I was just like, when I was watching his play, I was like, isn't it crazy where he's at now? Mm. Whereas, like, his last season with the Texans, he was an MVP candidate, and I think they had a losing record. He was a top <laughs> five quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, arguably top three. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's mental, though. I think it's actually mental. I don't think it's his ability to do things. I think it's a mental block. Something's blocking him from doing these things because the player's still in there. Mm. The player is still in there. You don't go. You don't fall off a cliff like this. It's mad. And you get paid all this money. No one pays you this much money. He's played enough games now. This is the thing. But you don't fall off a cliff like this. So I, my thing is, it has to be mental. There's something going on. I know his dad passed away um, and he's been going through some things. But I also know the field is usually the place where you escape all of those things and, you know, you play better. But maybe, maybe I think he just might be going through a lot. But it's been, it's not a small sample size just to narrow it down to this. It's been over his time in Cleveland. Because now... Compare it NBA-wise, Ben Simmons. Yeah. Why can't they get back to their level? That, boy, Ben Simmons is a different story. Ben Simmons didn't want to play. Yeah, but now you (laughs) supposedly do want to play. Yeah. Why can't you get back to your level? And I don't know. Because they both got skill sets that most people haven't got. Yep. Mm All-star in Ben Simmons. Like, even though Simmons, as much as shooting you could get on, he was still... A superb point guard. Yep. <laughs> like running the show and then one of the best defensive players. Mm-hmm. And then the numbers he put up, like. Just doesn't, just has a shooting mental block in, when it comes to shooting. But now it's affected his whole game. Well, yeah, has. this hiatus has affected his whole game. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Deshaun Watson, it seems like. Like, I just find it interesting and weird at the same time. Why can't these apex players get mm. back? Obviously, if it's been an injury thing, that injury's kept on holding you back, fair enough. But like in Deshaun's case, it doesn't seem like it's been an injury thing. Mm. Ben Simmons has had odd one here and there. But his injuries feel like they've been mental because it's like, oh, my back's hurting. Yeah. <laughs> like, Whereas like someone, I'd say, where you can see, they've got the like the mental struggles, but the injuries have played a big part. Deli Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Like mm-hmm. The injuries have really played a big part yes. and he's gone through a lot mm-hmm. and like him, like thankfully, not thankfully, but like in a positive way, speaking out yeah. and a lot of things like everyone can understand Why more he's... his struggles and yeah. stuff like that. And he's still trying to like make a comeback and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And I hope he does. But then there's others. They've just got a mental blockage in an aspect of their game. Mm. But that won't allow them to do what yeah. they used to do. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'd actually like to sit down and speak to them people and ask them yeah, what is cool. what's gone on. Why? Why do you feel like you can't get to where you were? Mm. Because it's that that's an interesting topic. Because a lot of players and a lot of athletes seem to go through it. They fall off a cliff and can't ever get back to where they are, mm. where they were. And it's with no injuries, no problems like that. And yeah. what's gone on for that 
mentally to stop you. And that's why I think for Deshaun Watson's happened. Obviously, he's gone through all the madness, but Which once you've, his, once you've been... <laughs> yeah, once you've been cleared of all Most the madness, that, yeah. you still got, like, you still got play. His saving grace was he still got paid. This is the thing. <laughs> guaranteed. The only ever guaranteed contract in NFL history. Yeah, like, he still got the back. So you, like, not in a bad way, but obviously what he done... He should come back with a bit more arrogance mm. in his play. Not, yes. not in his actual self. Yeah. <laughs> but in his play. Bro, that guy at the Texans was... Him. Right. He was him. You were going to say, he's rivaling Mahomes. Yeah. And coming years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was what it was, though. I think I saw... Um, oh, I was listening. Was it last week or week before? The Texans might have had an 0-4 start in his final season and they made the playoffs or something like that. Mm. And I think he's the first quarter, only quarterback to do that. It was something along those lines to have an 0-3 or 0-4 start because they were talking about like Joe Burrow's record. And Deshaun's the only one that's done it and mm. ended up in the playoffs mm-hmm. in the last, just say, 50 years for yeah. argument's sake. Like, they, bro, people forget how special Deshaun... Well, they don't forget, but... They remember, it's just they're just seeing what he is now. Yeah, and yeah. Just like, uh, like, Deshaun Watson was top two, top three. Oh, I remember having arguments about... He it. Could, were, he's going to be the best quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, people, I was telling people this man is the best. Yeah, yeah. And they were telling me, no, no, no. I said, have you not seen what he's doing at Houston? Yeah, that's when the... T- yeah. <laughs> I said, at Houston, these guys aren't good. He's putting up ridiculous numbers. Like, when they're making playoffs, JJ Watt would say to him, we're only in this position because of you. This is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing. And I, I said to myself, I don't know how he's done, how he's, I've said it before, but how he's fall, fallen off this cliff. But I want him to get back to what he was because even when Cleveland signed him, they're like, look what we've signed. We have yeah. signed our quarterback that's going to get us over the line. 